One more time. Self doubt. You've got high expectations of yourself. Where would you grade yourself at this point of the season? Uh, trending upwards. I mean, at this point, I think uh, my emphasis has been playing the run um, and trying to get to the quarterback, affect the quarterback. Uh, overcoming double team nudges, chips, all that other stuff is just excuses. At the end of the day, uh, this is a game of results. And I know we're three and two and we've still got 11 games left. So I think as a team, we're going to be, uh, again, trending upwards. We've got a lot of things we've got to correct. And I think every week we're gaining a little bit more of, of what we can and can't do. You, you say those are excuses, but how do you get past those, I guess, excuses slash realities? Um, with more and more reps, you get more and more comfortable. So now, you know, you know, you're, you're expecting your chips, you're expecting your nudge stays. Um, and at the same time, each one of those pass rush and each one of those uh, opportunities you're able to then process after the end of the game and get better from. So each game you see one step faster, each day, game you see um, just the process of how you go about attacking uh, so said double teams. And now you're seeing a lot more production. Next one from Luke Johnson. Cam, when it comes to turnover numbers for the defense, is that something you can like focus on improving or is that just like making the opportunity to count when you get up? Uh, without sounding like, you know, the, the 76er slogan, trust the process. Um, every practice year we're uh, taking into account what we need to do. Uh, and it's all, it's not for lack of effort. It's those times where, you know, you're hitting, you're hitting quarterbacks or you're hitting running backs and you feel that, that ball, uh, get a, get away from them, but at the same time, it's not getting out of their clutches. Uh, that's something that you have to keep on going. Um, whenever they come, they'll come in bunches. I think we've had a couple op opportunities to create turnovers that have uh, not gone in our favor, and at the same time, there are going to be more opportunities we need to capitalize on. So for the next 11 games, it's about capitalizing on each and every opportunity presented. Next one from Mike Triplett. Kim, uh, as far as the chips and the rubs and the double team, do you think you've seen more than even the last couple of years this year? And, and did that change at all when, when you guys had a fuller complement at, at PE with uh, with Trey and Marcus against the Chargers? Um, I think I said it early on. If I'm getting double team, we should have somebody else getting singles. And if somebody's getting singles, we got to win those singles. And I think Trey Henderson has done a phenomenal job of winning his singles. Um, and I think, you know, the world is starting to take notice that he's coming off the edge and playing at a, at a high level of football. Uh, which is now, you know, he, he may get a couple nudges, which means I got to win my singles. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It all comes full circle. Next one from Amy Jock. Next one from Amy Jock. When you're watching Panthers film, do you see many similarities to y'all's offense? And if so, does that give you an edge in any way just because you practice against it every day? Uh, I will not be releasing that type of information. I plead the fifth. Um, I do know that we have Drew Brees, which is the greatest quarterback of all times. And we had Teddy uh, Two Gloves, a.k.a. Teddy Bridgewater, a.k.a. Uh, I, I believe he's got a book, Teddy, Teddy the Bear. That being said, um, he had a year to study under Drew, two years to study under Drew, um, not only get healthy, but learn, you know, relearn the love for the game when he was over here. And I uh, hated to see him leave the building. And he, now he's over there. Now he's an enemy. He's a friend of me. He's an enemy before he's a friend. Uh, the little bear Teddy, I think is what it was. There we go. From that. What have you seen from him on film now that he's wearing Carolina blue? He's, he's comfortable. He's taking command. Um, you know, we, we know him in building and at the same time, now he's in Carolina and he's, he's playing at a high level. Um, yeah, I mean, what can I say at, at this point, it's going to be fun playing against him and I can't wait to hit him. Next one from Luke Johnson. Has it been weird for you watching Carolina film and not seeing Cam Newton? I mean, I guess you guys had a couple games against like Kyle Allen and all that. I was, was going to say it's, it's been a it's been a couple of years. We played a couple games, uh, whether it be the end of the season and you know whatever it was. Uh, we played different quarterbacks since Cam Newton had taken the reins. But it is uh, weird to see uh, Cam Newton in a Patriots jersey. I guess I don't know if it has to do with this week, but yes. Next one from Doug Mouton. Yeah, hey, Cam, uh, to follow up what Mike asked you a minute ago about singles and doubles, and, and you said you may be looking forward to getting more singles as Trey has more success. Have you seen four singles this season so far? Are there, have there been many pass rushing opportunities where it's just you and one guy, or is it almost always extra? Oh, uh, that's, I don't know. That's what I'm going to let, you know, film figure that one out. If my point, I'm just saying that uh, with every opportunity, you have to capitalize upon. So, one step faster, more hits, more quarterback production. 
whatever it takes to get for us to get a win. It's not about the individual effort. It's about the team effort. And three and two, we've got 11 games left. Um, I'll worry about, you know, my accolades later in the offseason when I've got time to mill around, hopefully as a Super Bowl champion. Next one from Luke Johnson. And what's the biggest thing you guys want to improve upon defensively after these first five games? Uh, I mean, we would like to create more turnovers. We would like to uh, improve upon uh, limiting explosive plays. Um, I mean, you turn on the tape, it'll tell you. We, I mean, we'd like to eliminate all penalties. Um, just obvious answers only at this point. <laughs> um, I think that, you know, we, we've got to continue turning upwards. We have to continue playing as a team, and hopefully that'll put us in a better position to win. Then I asked Marsh on this earlier, uh, but do you remember anything specifically from uh, just like those, like scout look offense battles with uh, with Teddy um, a couple years ago? And does anything stand out about those? Last year, yeah. I mean, from two years ago to last year, we we watched him get fully healthy. I mean, you know, everybody knew the injury that he had and the way he he took to the game and the way he took to rehab and. The way he came in and by, you know, beginning of last year, he was looking like the Teddy of Minnesota Vikings, which, you know, was a Pro Bowl quarterback, a caliber quarterback. Um, and then, you know, he played for us and played great. And now he's over at Carolina and he's continuing to play great. And I mean, uh, again, you know, looking on, you, you can only admire his story. And at the same time, it's got to be up to the line to, to affect the quarterback this week. All right, we're all set. Thanks, Cam. Perfect.